Good morning and thank you for joining me for this time of morning prayer as we begin our day in the presence of the Lord. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. Bless the Lord, you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 73. Truly God is good to the upright, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had hardly slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant, I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they have no pain, their bodies are sound and sleek. They are not in trouble as others are, they are not plagued like other people. Therefore pride is their necklace, and violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes swell out with fatness, and their hearts overflow with follies. They scoff and speak with malice, loftily they threaten oppression. They set their mouths against heaven, and their tongues range over all the earth. Therefore the people turn and praise them, and find no fault in them. And they say, how can God know? Is their knowledge in the Most High? Such are the wicked. Always at ease they increase in riches. All in vain I have kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued and I am punished every morning. If I had said I will talk on in this way, I would have been untrue to the circle of your children. When I thought how to understand this, it seemed to me a wearisome task. Until, that is, I went into the sanctuary of God, and then I perceived their end. Truly you set them in slippery places, and you make them fall to ruin. How they are destroyed in a moment, swept away utterly by terrors. They are like a dream when one awakes. On awaking you despise their phantom. When my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, I was stupid and arrogant. I was like a brute beast towards you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you, and you hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterwards you will receive me with honour. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire other than you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Indeed, those who are far from you will perish. You put an end to those who are false to you. But for me, it is good to be near God, for I have made the Lord God my refuge, to tell of all your works. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen.
Today's canticle is called A Song of the Redeemed. Behold a great multitude which no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and the Lamb. They were clothed in white robes and had palms in their hands, and they cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they stand before the throne of God, whom they serve day and night within the temple. And the one who sits upon the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall never again feel hunger or thirst. The sun shall not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb is at the heart of the throne, and he will be their shepherd. He will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. While Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came to them, and they were much annoyed because they were teaching the people and proclaiming that in Jesus there is resurrection of the dead. And so they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day for it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word believed, and they numbered about 5,000. The next day their rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but who God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, but has become the cornerstone. For there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. And so we say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so let us pray.
Lord, today we pray for all Christians throughout the world. That each one of us may be a servant of Christ, truly and faithfully following his teaching. We ask, Lord, that this day you would bring healing to every broken life. That you would give release to those who are consumed by bitterness. That you would give light to those who sit in darkness. And peace to those who are tormented. Father, give joy to those who are in despair and relief to all who are in pain. Give faith, Lord, to those who are searching, and hope to those who are dying. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, enlarge each one of our hearts, that it may be big enough to receive the greatness of your love. Stretch our hearts that it may take into all those who are around us in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, as Jesus taught his disciples to be persistent in prayer, give us patience and courage never to lose hope, but always to bring our prayers before you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.